because I've got Graves' disease um, and a pituitary adenoma, uh, I'm left with, um, I'll be left with very large hands and large feet, large ears and nose. Um, because I, I haven't been able to have my tumor operated on. Um, so these things, this is just some of the things that it does. Um, which is kind of odd because with, with MS it shrivels you up. So I've got one disease that makes me big and then one disease that's it's like they're keeping each other, you know. So maybe I needed Maybe the, the uh, adenoma isn't an illness, but a cure. Anyway, I don't think you'll find too many doctors agreeing with me there. To look after your hands, the, the thing I suffer with most is, is that the gas seems to, to creep into my knuckles. And these can become quite swollen and red and gigantic. Um, I can't, pretty much can't pick anything up. I can't do many chores. I can't do painting or any of the things I used to do. I can I can sort of do it, but it's not anywhere anything like what I used to do. And with with dishes and that, it's very painful. And uh, I prefer not to, frankly speaking. But when you're used to doing certain things in your life, you get enjoyment from even if it's a chore. It's part of your life. And until you've done it, you feel like something's missing, or I don't know. Not too many people would miss doing the dishes, but I prefer to use lighter crockery, plastic if possible. Um, they make some lovely stuff nowadays. It doesn't have to be horrible plastic. Picnic wear it can be really nice. Um, and then, and if I'm using good crockery or glassware. I let someone else wash it up. I don't feel like I have to do everything and, and then regret it. So, hands painful, terribly painful. Um, I, I can get cramps a lot, like if I hold, I often don't know I've got something in my hand. <laughs> you be careful when you go into a shop. You actually have to learn to, to look in your hands to make sure you haven't got anything. Because you don't feel it and, and your hand just... I got, end up like this a lot, so I'm assuming everyone else has similar problems. It's like a maybe you're sort of clenching because of the pain, but it just it all, and then they sort of seem to turn inward and upwards towards the chest. You know, I often find myself, you know, with them clutched up on my chest. So I do a lot of exercises like this, you know, to get keep the mobility. And uh, and uh, uh, elegance of movement. You can see how I'm shaking. That's the Graves disease. With Graves disease, it's you can take medication, and it can really settle it down. I didn't get my um, thyroid burnt out. I kept it. It took me about three or four years of um, pretty strong medication, but I, I managed to keep it level. But you might got to be very careful because uh, you can still get very, very sick. Graves disease, you might not succumb to it, but it's always there. And uh, it's like MS; it comes and goes, you know. So uh, I pull my fingers out. I'm forever pulling them out like this to just to loosen them up. Here, I I wobble these this way, and they pop. That people say don't do it, but if I didn't, I'd have gigantic, big, hard, stiff knuckles like you see people like that. I'd be like that. I couldn't bear it. So, again, here, when you're massaging your hand, this is a is a line of acupressure or acupuncture points. It's the same line that's on your foot. That's your neck. That's your lower spine. That's your things in between. And when you're massaging your hand, you press these points. You then help the rest of your body. And these can be hard. These can come up and swell before your eyes. And what I do is, 
I just slowly squish it. It might sound weird, but you can actually feel. I don't know where the gas goes. I've no idea. Um, it's kind of spooky, but where it comes from and where it goes. But I pull it and I make sure it doesn't stay on my knuckles. I've been a hard worker all my life, so you'll, I've used my hands doing so many different things. You'll see this is from scarred being outside, using machine, using all kinds of acids and paints and God knows what, concretes and just finish and everything. So be gentle, don't overdo it, don't worry your hands. Uh, you can soak them in a nice lukewarm soft water with maybe some sort of uh, softener in it. You can use anything, hair shampoo, uh, conditioner, um, water softener, uh, bath salts, anything. Chemical tea or something if you haven't got anything else. And I use it olive oil. When I was younger I used to put Pond's Cold Cream on it, but now you can't get that product anymore. And uh, just being gentle. And I find, like, because I have strokes all the time, my hands are numb, um, I don't always feel heat or cold or pain. Consequently, I can cut myself very badly before I recognize it or burn myself. I don't do that so often anymore because uh, I'm more careful, but when these things first came, the onset of all these really bad symptoms came in such a rush that I was prone to accidents because I did a lot of things. So active mother of two boys and working different other projects. and so. Now the color of your hands can tell you your health. They should just be a nice, healthy hand color. They shouldn't be too pale. They shouldn't be too red. If that's all dotted, like with little red spots, there's something wrong with your, um, I forget whether it's kidney or, or liver, but whatever it is, you need to drink a lot of water for over a period of a day, and they should go away. If it doesn't go away, and you still have all these dark patches on your hand, go see your doctor straight away. Something's wrong if, you, if you've got colored patches on there. Okay, keep your hands clean, your nails short. Don't wear nail polish unless you have to. I think, I love nail polish, I'm not against it. I just think that anything with, you just don't know what chemicals are in anything you'd, and you don't know what's being absorbed into your body. And, we're, and with this illness, we're so delicate anything could really just turn your day upside down and you could be making yourself sick so I do my hands and my feet all day long I also use my hands to massage my face for this at the same time when you see when you're tired and you rub your face and then you feel better it's because you've activated all these um, acupuncture points which invigorate your body you know at different points and this is really good. I'm feeling good doing this. I'm feeling great. Yay! Okay, so that's your hands.